temporary resident. That's why we must avoid. Ang sarap batukan, mga kapatid, ng amo, lalo na pag sila'y mali at inako sa hantayo, but we just remain humble. Why? We are residents in May nag-post laban sa'yo? There are people who posted in MP against you to destroy you. Your flesh will say, revenge, revenge. You have about 5,000 friends. Let them share what you post against this person. He said, no, I'm a citizen. Praise God. But you can see 
siya in social media. Si Duterte tinawag nilang Dutahi. Mga kapatid. So, they are not honoring the government. Yes. Whoever will be the president owner. Yes. Because that's what God said. Yes. Meron pa ba sa clinic, President? Meron pa. <laughs> household slaves. What is household slaves? Domestic emperor. Baka dyan ako magtagal ng isang oras. Household <laughs> slaves. Okay, can we read all together now? Household slaves, submit yourselves to your masters with all respect, not only to the good and gentle, but also to the ruler. Submit yourself to your employer, even that is a good employer or a cruel employer. That's it. You are different. With all respect. Kasi nilagay ka ng Diyos dyan. Pinaaral ka kasi ng doktor na mayabas ka kasi kaya... Everybody say praise the Lord. So, meron pa ba si Stephanie? Praise God. Hebrews! Let's go to Hebrews. The Bible said that we should be strangers and pilgrims to this world. Everybody said, by faith. By faith. By faith, Abraham, when he was called, obeyed and went out to a place. He was going to receive an inheritance. He went out not knowing where he was going. Just imagine what kind of faith is this. He went and obeyed the voice of God. He did not even know where he is going. By faith, he stayed as a foreigner in the land. As a foreigner. What do you mean by that? He did not sit on in the land. He did not build a house with him back. If you read the Old Testament, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, they just lived in tents. Sabi ka, tulta lang sila. Nakatira. Why? Why, Pastor Pasa, they were content to live in tents. It's just like a nipaha. Or like a hammock. Praise God if you are a hiker. By faith, he stayed as a foreigner in the land of promise. Living in tents. With Isaac and Jacob, co-heirs of the same promise. Everybody say, same promise. Same promise. The promise of God to Abraham is the same with Isaac and Jacob. And I have a good news for you. What God has promised to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob yeah. is the same promise. Yeah. 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 Okay, by faith, he sojourned in the land of promise. Palipat-lipat sila. Praise God. As in a strange country. Even Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, they have no country at all. Yes. Praise God. Dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. Oh. Hallelujah. Next verse. Verse 10. Nagham? Okay. For he was looking forward to the city that has foundations whose architect and builder is God. Whose builder and maker is God in King James Version. So that is why Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob did not settle in a land. They did not build houses made with bricks and stone. Why? They are looking for a city whose builder is God. But they died altogether without receiving the promise. They all died without receiving the promise of God. Pastor, it's unfair. Abraham was a man of faith. He's the father of faith. But he died. Isaac died. Jacob died. Twelve tribes of Israel died. But no one of them received the promise. The question is why? There's a good news. There's a better plan of God. In verse, hallelujah. Okay. Next verse. Wala na? Verse, uh, chapter 11, verse 39, 40 and 41. Praise God. They were most, praise God, of the Bible characters, a man of faith. They were being killed, fed to the lions, praise God. They were being persecuted because of their faith. Hallelujah. Look at this, look at this, okay. 
all this will approve through their faith. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob will approve of their faith. But they did not receive what was promised. Did you say it? Yes. They will approve of their faith. They will prove it that they are faithful to God. God talked to them. They obeyed the voice of God. But they did not receive what was promised. They died without receiving the promise. The question is why, Pastor Plaza? Because God is waiting for you. Hallelujah. He died already waiting for the promise, but you were not yet born. Amen. So they died in, in vain. No, 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 no. Because when God will raise them up, this will, here we go. All the, uh, verse 10, uh, verse, next verse, verse 40 says that. Hallelujah. Since God, why did he not receive the promise? Here we go. Since God had provided something better for us, not for them, for us, so that they would not be made perfect without us. How I wish you understand that. churches all around the world at the sound of the trumpet and when you enter into the portals of heaven the saints the old testament saints will shout yes this is the time that i will be made perfect i can receive now the promise what is that eternal life in the hand time the hand time of our world god is waiting for you Hallelujah in heaven and on earth, but in heaven. Yes. Because all Testament saints are waiting for you. The man without a country is waiting there. Welcome to my kingdom. All the countries of the world. To those who receive me and to those who are baptized in water and receive the Holy Ghost, welcome to the kingdom of God. Receive your inheritance. This is not about religion. But this is about your personal choice and the relationship to Jesus. Everybody shall praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Shall we stand together and listen to me carefully? Because we are going to enter into an altar service, praise God, with a right heart, with a right spirit. How can I keep this passport, Pastor Plaza? I already explained to you. Every time also we have an altar service. Worship God with all of your voice. Yes. If you didn't hear me in my program in Saksak Sinagol, praise God, hallelujah, I told you in that program. I don't know what would be the impact of your shout. I don't know what would be the impact when you rejoice in the presence of God when you come back to the church, hallelujah. But can we do that this afternoon? Yes, 